guys, one thing I'll tell you right now. Five is going to get you hit. That makes sense. I do all the injury reports. And when you sell someone to drive, you're going to get hit eventually. And it might, it could be career ending. Control it all, especially when it's bad visibility. The other thing too is, if you tell me to drive, it's just the nature of it. You're going to stop eating when you go to get those two hits. By your seventh, eighth, ninth hit, you're not giving a good quality hit. When I'm like when me and my father were doing the door, if I'm yeah, swinging for somebody, I might have coiled springs way back in there. It's just a lot more control, guys. So just today, try it. All right, but I, I guarantee you, you will get hit one day if you just say run. Because remember we say you can't stand, don't stand on this side of the tool, you can see why. And this actually has some space. Sometimes the door is, you know, just the bucket is exposed, the wall's here, so you got no space to really work. Okay, that's why we made this tight area. The other thing is, is if um, I'm going to set this pool the wall here, so you have a hard time getting a good swing. Okay, so there's some things you could do. Um, I'll tell you what things, other techniques you then I'll tell you what is probably the quickest technique. But what you do here is, you should so you cut these shoulders out. Okay, who's got the uh, the axe? Okay, so I'm going to try to set this tool. I'm trying to set the tool. You see, there's no room to sweat. I can't. Right? I can maybe get a little tap in there, but not a whole lot. That's about it. Okay. That ain't not much. All right, so a couple other techniques might be just use the edge, slide it maybe. Slide, slide edge. Okay, so I can do this. All right, Watch so that's, that's, that's why we that's why we have this like this. Way. I could just, what I could do, and that's why this is an old thing we used to do, is like a railroad spike sometimes will help you just to, you know, just keep these in our helmet. I can, I can pound on this thing and get it in there a little bit, set, because this metal ain't going to fracture and it's not. It's the aluminum one, so you can see his, now I'm going to give him a tap on this. the wood or give it a maybe a little bit but we'll flip the tool we'll show you why sometimes we go in uh, bevel to the frame because it'll slide right on you can probably pop that you can see that's that's set that's set tight so what we'll do is can you get that out of there I mean that was we could have got that door there's no doubt so now he's gonna flip it so when you flip the tool, so that's the way we normally do it. But when you flip it, look where the strike hand goes. To a much better area. So we can get a good hit now. So now I'm lined up with the hallway. And that's why, that, hold that tool up behind you there. Look at that thing. That's why we, you know what I'm saying? You're not even getting it all the way to the door. So we're going to use the geometry of the hallway. So now the tool gets turned. There you go. So now I can come down here and I can swing, you know, got to swing lefty sometimes. No big deal. Okay, so the tool is set, but I'm, I'm the backwards way. So remember we talked about in the beginning how much spread you lose? So that's a disadvantage once you go to pop it. The other thing is sometimes this tool, because the way it's shaped, when you go to pop it, it'll, it'll want to slide out. Maybe not, but I'm going to give it a quick pop and see if we if get the door. If not, we'll have to reset it, okay? Okay, see that tool kind of slipped out? I think you popped, probably cracked something there. But at this point, okay, if it slips out, no problem. Just turn the tool back around. Put a couple taps okay, on the yep, shoulder. Yep. Hit. Always control the door. So I think Ads, but guys always forget about this. Plus that. Because it bevel all the four. You lose a lot. You lose a, like 12 to 18 inches of push. And that means a lot 
when you initially pop the door, um, you know, metal likes to stretch and, and bend, you know, so you really want to overpower a shock loader so it shears and it, and it breaks, you know what I mean? So uh, even even when you, uh, <clears throat> so what I do with the backwards way, door stops, you kind of push the metal halfway, and when you go to do it again, it's already been stretched, so it's going to want to keep stretching. Um, but, you know what, if you don't have any other choice and you can't get the tool set, or you're in a tight area, or you're going halligan to halligan, you guys do that ever? So we, you know, we have big MDs, and a lot of times we're all over the building. So um, not everybody has the irons, but pretty much everybody in a truck company, except for the can man, and every.